Hello everyone, welcome to the Elevate Your Soul podcast. Today I'm just going to quickly come on, this is just going to be a really short episode on three easier, inexpensive, cheap little tips for you to become a happier human being right now. And I can guarantee you that this is going to work. Number one, spend time in mother nature. Take off your shoes, take off your socks, get outside and let your feet touch the earth. Feel grounded, become grounded in this beautiful planet we have. Walk barefoot on some grass or walk barefoot through the forest. It's honestly the best thing you can do. Walk barefoot on the beach, in the sand, if you have quite sensitive feet, Um, but just really immerse yourself in mother nature and feel the elements of the earth on your skin. Feel the plants, hug the trees, let the sand seep between your fingertips and your toes. Like, Fully get in there. Go for a swim in the ocean. Go for a swim in a lake. And also animals is another great way. I include that in Mother Nature. Spend time with dogs. Look at birds. Swim with the fish in the sea. Like go snorkeling. It is so healthy for you. Like even go to a paddock and pet some cows. Like cows are super friendly and awesome. They are pretty shy though. But get out in nature and feel the warmth of the sun. Feel the coolness of the water, feel the life in the plants surrounding you. Trust me, this will make such a difference. If you try to spend at least 20 minutes a day in nature and like fuck 20 minutes, like at least an hour even in nature, the longer you spend in mother nature, the more grounded and connected you're going to feel to the universe and yourself and life and even other people. It's quite incredible what Mother Nature can do. Number two is have some sort of peaceful and calm practice, whether this is a slower paced yoga class such as yin yoga or meditation or even painting and creating art or writing poetry and journaling. Find something that you can fit in your routine, your daily routine or your weekly routine that allows you to be fully calm and at peace and not running or jogging or running errands and none of that, you know, just or even listen to some calm music or play a musical instrument and probably not the drums because I'm talking about something soft and peaceful and quite calming and that's just going to calm your nervous system down. Even just something as simple as breathing exercises. This is going to make a huge difference in your day to day life. And I know that many of us, meditation is actually pretty hard, especially like sitting still in meditation or just lying down still. That can be really challenging for a lot of people. And it is for me as well. I am not a big fan of just sitting cross-legged on the floor and staring out into space for 45 minutes. It doesn't really do me justice at all. Um, I find slightly more of an active moving meditation whether I'm floating in water in the ocean or slightly moving my hips in circles while I'm on the floor or kneeling while I have my eyes closed and breathing really slow and calmly and just getting connected with my body there's so many different ways that we can use meditation as a tool, but that it doesn't have to look like what you see on the YouTube videos or the Instagram posts on social media. I find that our society is getting a little bit too obsessed with this idea 
that sitting cross-legged on the floor with our hands on our knees and our fingertips touching can create so much more happiness and joy in our lives, which can be true for some of us, but not all of us. So when that doesn't work for some of us, we're questioning ourselves and being like, well, this sucks. Um, What's wrong with me? Because everyone else is sitting cross-legged and doing nothing and feeling amazing from it. And I'm not getting anything from this. And that's totally fine. Because meditation looks different for every single person. So it's important that you find what source of meditation feels best in your body and works best for your mind and then stick to that. And that may change over time and with time and you might have many different ways of meditating and that's completely fine. As long as you make an effort and try to find a way that can bring in some more peace and calmness into your life by doing some sort of practice daily or as often as you can that is peaceful and calm and where you're surrounded by that peaceful and calm energy so that you can create more of that energy and that'll just effortlessly flow in your everyday life from there. Last but not least, number three is to dance. This doesn't cost anything either. If you're listening to this podcast right now, I'm sure you have some resources to listen to some music as well, whether that's YouTube or Spotify or even good old CDs and cassettes. Just put on some cool tunes and move your body and just try to connect with your soul and with the music and figure out first of all what kind of music are you wanting to listen to and the best idea is to really just play around on the day play like a few different songs of different genres whether that be rock and roll or even like heavy metal and then a bit of jazz or cool blues or electronic and pop or hip-hop r&b whatever just play a whole bunch of music and you might resonate and connect with all the different genres i know i do when i have a little dance and body expressive practice, I actually like to listen to a wide variety of different types of music so that I can express all different parts of myself, you know, and different emotions come out with different songs. So just playing some music and moving your body with the music, you don't need to be a fantastic dancer or anything in order to do this, just lock yourself in your room or in the living room or in the kitchen if you're home alone while you're cooking. Just blast some tunes and move with the music. Music is just sound and energy and you really wanna just connect with the energy and the frequency of the sounds that you're hearing. And it is so healing for the mind and the body and the soul. And it's also really good to sing. If you're listening to anything with lyrics, it's so good to sing with music. Like, I have the shittiest voice ever. Like, if you want to break your eardrums, I will sing for you. But I still sing because it feels amazing. And my favorite place to do this so that I don't break anyone else's eardrums is like in the car. When I'm driving down the motorway, I just blast music and sing my little heart out. And it is so good and healing. And wherever you're driving to, whether it's to see a friend or go to work or go to the gym, you're going to end up showing up in such a better state if you do this. So if ever you're feeling down and you have something ahead of you and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I have the energy to 
do whatever is ahead of me. Like, how am I going to get this all done? Just freaking play your favorite music and scream your little head off and sing your little heart out. And it will make you feel so much better. So give these three things a go. Once again, they're spend time in mother nature, um, feel the elements of mother nature. So don't put on like your plastic rubber shoes and then walk outside and don't touch anything. Like I'm talking about like roll around in grass, walk barefoot in the sand, go swimming in the ocean, go climb a tree and sit up on the top of a tree, you know, and look at out at an amazing view. That's also super helpful. The other one is have like a quiet, calm practice, whether that's painting or journaling or even just like rolling around on the ground like I freaking love doing that even to no music just like going off in my own little fairy worlds in my own little headspace can be quite fun and liberating sometimes and last but not least dance dance jump move sing your little heart out and express yourself and if you do these three things and you incorporate them at least in your like at least every week if not every day you will end up feeling so much better and one other thing i'm going to throw in there is listen to amazing podcasts as well (laughs) haha All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you on the next episode and I hope you all have an amazing day. Love you. Bye.